today I'm going to be doing the A to Z favourites tag and this tag was created by Megan Dowling and she's actually one of my favourite YouTubers so when I saw this tag I was like I have to do this. And the A to Z favourites tag is quite self explanatory, it's going through the alphabet and picking out like your favourite things with the letter beginning with like A and so on. So here we go! Starting off with A is, for me A is animals, I absolutely love animals. Even though some animals like really kind of scare me like snakes and things like that, I, I love animals and like I wouldn't hurt them or anything. I'm just... Animals have like a really soft spot for it. I have some... They don't have... I have a soft spot for animals. I think like... I don't know. I just love animals. Cats. I like cats, dogs, fish. What else is there? Most animals. I see I like most animals and I don't like seeing them hurt and things so I am a big animal lover. B is for blogging. I absolutely love blogging and if you want to check out my blog it's down there links down there and it is like such a fun hobby I absolutely love it when I first started it I didn't know whether I was going to like it or keep it up but I absolutely love it and I've kept it up for for a while now I've kind of taken it a bit more seriously now so I absolutely love it so much fun C is for cities and I absolutely kind of love cities and going to different ones. I feel like because I live in a seaside town, there's never that hustle and bustle like a city. And I kind of love, the, absolutely love the atmosphere. So I love C is for cities. D is for Disney and I absolutely love Disney. I always have, I have two Disney pillows on my bed and I love the old classics mainly, like they're my favourite ones and I want to go to Disney World so bad. I don't care if it's Paris or Florida, I just want to go to Disney World. Because I kind of would act like such a child there. But I would be able to get away with acting like such a child. So it's sort of like it's sort of like that place where everybody can act like a child and it can be accepted, which I think it should be accepted like that wherever, but that's just me. E is for exercise. I I love exercising, which is going to sound really weird because not <laughs> every most people when I say that they look at me like, oh, she's like an alien from out of space because she likes exercise. But I do. I um I feel better from exercising and everything, and I like working out. So yeah, I like exercising. <laughs> F is for two things, F is for, number one is for my family, obviously I love my family, and the other F is for fashion because I am a bit of a shopaholic, I love clothes, I love styling, and yeah, I absolutely love fashion. I wish, I wish, I'm kind of jealous, I wish I had my own kind of either store or sort of clothing range, sort of like the Kardashians, I'm kind of jealous. G is for my favourite old movie, it's not black and, in black and white, but it is called Gone with the Wind, it's a very old one, but it is an absolute kind of classic, excuse me, it's, I don't know how to put it, it was in like the 1940s I think it was made, I kind of want to walk around and try and be like Scarlet and have a big puffy dress and find Rhett Butler and fall in love and yeah it's a bit more complicated than that but I just like the movie. H is for horrors, my favourite types of movies. I, I'm so addicted to horrors that it's got to the point where it takes a lot for a horror movie to scare me now. I absolutely love watching them but most of them because I love them so much it just doesn't scare me anymore which sounds a bit defeats the purpose of watching a horror but I just like watching them, I find them entertaining, so if, I mean, if I find a horror movie that actually does scare me, it'd be quite surprising nowadays, so I need to go on the hunt for more horror movies. I, now I, I've struggled with a bit, so I went for my favourite insect, which is a ladybird, and 
I just think they're kind of really pretty. They kind of have all sort of insects and bugs. They're just like the prettiest ones and they just kind of have a little black and red, black and red wings and they fly around. I just think they're nice. J is for jokes. I'm not very good at telling jokes, but I like to hear jokes. I do find the most stupidest, like the stupidest of jokes are probably like my funny ones, like the ones that I find funniest. And yeah, I think jokes are, are good all round. K is for kids because I, ca I love kids. I think, I think I love them so much because they're so truthful. And like when I'm older, I like, I would love to have a lot of kids, which everybody looks at me really weirdly and is like, oh, she won't have a lot of kids. Well, I might not, but I'd like a lot of kids. L is for London and once again back to the cities, I absolutely love London and I wish I could, I wish I spent more time there, I hope to spend more time there but I just love the city, I love the atmosphere in London and I think, I think it's just a great kind of atmosphere in the city, it's a capital city it's, and the amount of history and everything is around London is crazy and I love it. M is for makeup, as you can tell by me having like a blog and my YouTube channel, I love makeup. I have done ever since I was about 11. I spend stupid amounts of money on makeup actually, but I just love it. That's probably a big hobby, collecting makeup. That should be like, that should be like a club of collecting makeup. N, and N I struggled with just a teensy bit, so I'm gonna go for Almond Nuts. Because I didn't want to come out, well, I didn't want to come out and just say nuts because then people are going to think, oh, she's a lunatic. But I like almond nuts. They're like my new obsession of nuts. I absolutely love nuts. Who's going to sound really weird? I love, okay, I just love almond nuts, okay? Roasted. I'm quite happy with that. <laughs> oh, O oh is for One Direction because they're one of my favourite bands and come on, who doesn't love a bit of One Direction? P is for pink, as in the colour. I'm obsessed with pink. If you look around my room, which you can't see all of my room, but most of my room is pink. And I'm wearing pink because on Wednesdays we wear pink. And it's not Wednesday. But. This is awkward. Q is for Queen purely because I love the royal family. I'm not obsessed, but I don't dislike them like some people. I just... I just like the royal family and and I think Prince George, baby Prince George is the cutest baby ever and not to mention that I'm going to be marrying Prince Harry if you didn't already know. Yeah, yeah, we're just, he's just in denial at the moment, that's all. I will, I will be a princess. R is for running, back to the whole exercising thing, I've always liked running even when I was younger. I just. I don't know, it just relieves a lot of stress. S is for summer. Summer is my favourite season. Summer weather is the best and it's just starting to rain outside. Welcome to England. <laughs> T is for travel and I don't do a, like a great amount of travelling, which I wish I did because I want to see the world. I hope to in the future travel to loads of different places I've never been to and see see more of the world because that would be one thing that I'd really love to do. You, another struggle with you. So I came up with unicorns. Yeah, I'm I'm aware they're a fictional character. I'm aware they're not real, but they are pretty cool. They are pretty cool. I really, really think someone should create a form of unicorn. Like literally, literally we're in, we're in, we're in, it's 2014. We should be able to create a unicorn for people to have as pets. I want a unicorn as a pet. I'm sure some of you do. V is for Vine and I have just started using Vine. I like to think I'm quite funny on there when, when in reality I'm not. But if you do want to check out my Vines, links down below. Just plugging it and everything. W. W is for Wonderwall by Oasis. It is top, like, it's practically my most favourite song ever. 
and not to mention it was released the year I was born as well, just coincidence, but it is one of my favourite songs and Oasis had that song on point completely. X, X, I'm gonna be kind of copying Megan in this one and going for Kisses because, because other than that I could only think of a Coldplay album and I just, I just thought Kisses were better. So we're gonna go with Kisses, spread the love. Y is for YouTube, YouTube I spend many, many hours on, probably too many hours on YouTube, but it is a form of enjoyment for myself and I love it, I love watching different videos, so we're going to go with YouTube. And for Z, now Z was a tricky one, but I'm going with Zoe101 and if you're around my age-ish you will remember that on Nickelodeon, but then Jamie Lynn Spears had to go and get pregnant and then it got cancelled. Lots of girls, people heartbroken, mainly girls. I was especially heartbroken when it ended. I wanted to see another season at least, but no, no, it got ruined. Anyway, I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, let me know and give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll have Megan's links down below so you can see her video as she created the tag. And I'm sure she'd love it if you did it too. So definitely go check it all out. And I'll see you next time. Peace out.